All right, Coach, just your, uh, your thoughts heading into Texas a and Well, you know, they're, they're probably better defensively than they are offensively. Um, they really uh, do a great job with their pressure. Um, and then they drop in, into a man-to-man -man that uh, is pretty aggressive, and uh, they do a good job turning people over. Uh, offensively, they do a great job of getting to the foul line. They uh, get inside. They've got some. They play, you know, some mismatch basketball, and they attack one-on-one -on -one closeouts. So, we'll have to do a better job of taking care of the ball ourselves, um, attacking pressure, and then getting into a set, um, running on our offense without turning the ball over. That really hurt us against Arkansas, and that's that's been an issue for us all year long. Um, and then on the defensive end, just doing a better job of guarding more. Uh, than just one-on-one. -on -one. We've got to be able to guard as a team. And uh, if we can improve in those areas, and we've got to continue to try to get better at the foul line because we're leaving too many points out there on the board. It gives us a better chance to be competitive. Uh, after watching film of Arkansas, obviously you moved, you've moved on to Texas A&M, but did you see some positive signs that you like? Well, I thought our kids competed. Uh, I thought, obviously, you make 15 threes and shoot 50% from the field. Um, you know, you had to do a lot of good things on the offensive end. And, I thought the guys played with some confidence. I thought they shared the ball really well. Going to have to do that against Texas A&M as well, avoid uh, drawing charges. So, I, again, just uh, you know, I like the progress the team's made. We've got some real weaknesses that we've got to shore up. Um, thoughts on uh, Devin Cambridge? Uh, it seemed like he, that was more of his, one of his coming out games again. Well, that was great. Uh, Devin went home for the break and uh, gave a lot of thought to you know, what were the things that he was able to do where he could make a difference on the floor, make shots defensively, uh, be an impact player, be an, be an elite rebounder. And those are the things that he needs to do for us uh, to, to be a better team. And, and obviously for him, he can do those three things at a really high level, just focus on that. And uh, I think getting in the gym and trying to spend some more time during the, you know, uh, before you get back to school where he's able to focus, he, he, he really does enjoy. He's a little bit of a gym rat, plays better when he's in the gym a lot.